Hello everybody, it's Agent, and today I have the G1 Constructicon video for you. Um, so here it is, he is in all of his G1 magnificent glory in this wonderful G1-esque box from Walmart. Uh, so as you can see, we've got some nice G1-y looking artwork. Um, I think there was a couple of... Uh, packs like this where you got all of them together and it had the same look to it. Now if we turn to the side you can see him and all the bots. Turn on the back you have some more G1 artwork from the original boxes. Um, you have his tech specs down at the bottom and then of course his combi combination uh, transformation there and each one of them individually. At the top you have the same thing, on the side you have the same thing, and on the bottom you have the same thing. So really, it's a really nice box. I mean it's very G1-esque, but uh, you know there are some modern day influences there like the double language right here and there. You got your double language up at the top right here, um, double language right here, there is also this, which uh, would normally have like a point value, and then you also have the date, which is 2017 right there. Um, so there are some differences between this and the original also. Um, any original boxes aren't going to be as nicely colored, they're definitely going to be a little bit faded. So um, if you go to find this guy, or a G1 or anything on eBay, um, look for those things in the pictures so definitely the devil language thing is dead giveaway so all right um now that we looked at the box let's open them up and see what each one of them looks like before we get stickers put on now i will say i did take them out of here once already but i put them all back in um no stickers no nothing so this is technically exactly how you will get it right from the store and it is a very, it's very tight in there. There we go. All right, so we'll put that to the back. And then you have a massive clamshell, which is another dead ringer um, that is not G1. G1 will have styrofoam in it. Um, any remakes will have this. All right, let's get this flipped up and over and see if we can get it underneath the camera there. And there we go. And they're falling out. <laughs> so that's basically how it looks. Let's just get everything off to the side and then I will just pull things out individually as we go. All right. So let's see, the first guy we're gonna pull out is going to be, um, well, let me angle it down here. We're going to have a Bone Crusher because he was the first one to fall out. And then we're going to do Hook. And then we're going to do Scavenger. And then we're going to do Long Haul. And then Scrapper. And then we are going to... I got to move some stuff around. And then we're going to have Mix Master. So, all right, and each one of them obviously has their accessories, which we will go over that as well. But right now, we just want to look at how they come without their sticker sheet on them. So that's everything else in the box um, is all the accessories in this. Uh, we'll open this up a little bit later, but as you can see, no stickers are put on. Um, but I will say that they actually have them labeled. So here we have Bone Crushers, Scavengers, Scrappers, Hooks, Long Hauls, and Mix Master stickers. All right, so here we go. Here's Bone Crusher in his G1 glory. He's got the rub sticker right here, which, you know, I'm noticing the rub stickers don't work like the originals did. You really, really have to rub on them to get them to show up. There, it's not even showing up there. I'm rubbing that one for a couple seconds now, but all right. So yeah, so there's that. 
As you can see, no other stickers except for the chest one is already applied. And then on hook, here he is. He's got uh, no stickers on him except for his chest and belly. And then we got scavenger, which he has just his rub sticker and a sticker right here. And I'm not going to transform these guys just yet. I'm just going to show them with, without the stickers being put on them, except for what already is on them. So here we have the little crotchal sticker there. We got some stickers right there, but nothing else on long haul. On scrapper, got the rub sticker as well. I mean, they all have a rub sticker on them at somewhere. Um, there's his rub sticker. He's got a couple stickers already on him, on his chest and his waist, which that one is coming off, which honestly, I haven't taken these guys out since the very first time. <laughs> so it surprises me that that's already coming off of there. And then we got Mixmaster and he's got his rub sticker. And we'll see if we can get that to Nope, these are some horrible, horrible rub stickers. I bet I got some original G1s with the uh, rub stickers that actually work. Um, and then on the bottom we have his chest and his waist sticker as well. And a little button, which I'm not 100% sure what the little button does. I do not know, it just, it's just there, just there. All right, so there we go, that's them. Um, no stickers, no nothing. I will go over accessories after we get them all stickered up, so I'll have that back in just a minute. All right, guys, so I saved you the hassle of having to watch me put all the stickers on, um, and I already went and I put all their ornaments or armaments and weapons, whatever you want to call them, with the particular character. So as you can see, here are the Constructicons all decked out, uh, ready for battle. Um, which this is actually something I personally did not know uh, they did. I had no idea that you could actually take um, their little extra bits and, I mean, obviously guns, yes, but like the arm pieces and the, the cod piece and the chest plate, no idea. So that's all new to me. So there you go. Um, just to kind of give you a size comparison, uh, we are going to bring out the new Constructicons and we're just going to set them behind their respective others. Just so that we can see the size difference that we have going on here. And I don't know why I say it, put this one in the middle, because he's so big. But there we go. So itty bitty, kind of large. Um, big difference in the way they look, and they, they definitely combine differently too. But still, nothing beats the classic. So let's get these guys out of here. Yeah, just give me a sec. And last but not least. Okay, so let's get them transformed. So first we are going to start with Bone Crusher. And uh, he is an arm. Okay. And here we have the stickers. Uh, the stickers that got put on were here, here, here. And for some reason they wanted it right here on top of the other sticker. Um, I just did that because they told me to. And then here is his arm piece, which does not actually shoot. And I don't remember, I mean, I wouldn't be a good source of information on this one, but uh, I don't know if there used to be springs in these, but there are no springs at this point. Um, the latch does work because you can hold it down and it won't come out. 
So I'm thinking maybe there was a spring in there back in the day and it'd be interesting to see if we could actually fit one in there and that way that stuff could shoot out. And then that just attaches on this post and those posts. Just like that. And then he does have one weapon, which is right here. And I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and transform him. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to throw that back. We're going to take his legs. Oh, not his legs. We're going to take his arms. Pull his arms out like that. We're going to rotate, rotate. And then we're going to bring this up so we can pull the legs down. And they're just on one giant hinge. So they work together. Then you separate and pull them apart, I should say. And give them a little twist. Pull the head up. And it will clip into place. Get this. There's another sticker right there. That goes there. And then you tilt the arms at the one articulation joint. And there you have Bone Crusher. And he can hold his gun, which goes supposed to go. There is something seriously wrong with the hand right here. Um, I don't know what the deal is with that. I, I'm just noticing that for the first time. So it will go into this hand. There you go. There's his gun in that hand. Oh, and I did forget to mention that there's a sticker here and a sticker here, sticker here and sticker here, which cover up the screws. So, all right, bone crusher. And uh, he didn't want to stay up earlier. All right, next we have, uh, oh, who the heck is this? Construction con hook. Um, sorry, I <laughs> brain fart literally on that one. Okay, so here we have Hook. He's all decked out, and of course his main piece that goes with him is the, uh, the head, which that is just tabbed on right here to here and that just goes on there and that goes there and this is his gun it's got a spot right there for it so we'll just take that out and we'll take this out um sticker placement is here here we'll get into the rest on that one um one here and two back here and then I do want to point out that the nice thing about the this guy is he's got this nice chrome hook that actually swivels and it can actually extend that, which the new one does not do. So, I mean, that's really nice. Kind of cool to have. It's very tight too. All right. So to transform this guy, you separate that all completely, pull those out and twist them around and they are on a slide hinge. So pull them out, slide hinge them over and get them into the groove and they will stay in place there. And then you can take this whole thing, just slide it back into place. His arms just slide out and his head comes up. All right, as for here, stickers are on his knees, on his chest, on the sides of his waist, the cod piece right there. And yes, that sticker um, goes over a screw and uh, it, by being over the screw, it kind of looks funky, but it is what it is. All right, and where's his gun? And then his gun it just goes right into his hands there. And I'm not gonna get it a whole lot into articulation because obviously these guys don't articulate very well. Um, some of them do somewhat, but it, it's G1. So not really. All right, next we have uh, Scavenger, and there he is with his weapons all on him. He has another arm, so his arm piece tabs on right here into those holes. And the same thing with this. Comes out, it seems like there should be a spring, uh, but there isn't. But if you hold that down, um, it does latch, and you can't get it out. So... I don't know. Maybe I'll see if I can find some springs. Um, here's his little gun. Sticker-wise, sticker, sticker, and uh, sticker. And that's it for that mode. Um, to transform him, 
I mean, all these guys are really, really easy. You just flip those down, and they too are on a single hinge. Turn the foot, straighten the toe, straighten the toe over here, and we'll turn the foot. And do the same here. Okay, and then we're going to take his arms, slide his arms out, slide his arms out, pop his head up, and there we go. Stickers on in this mode are on his feet, on his cod piece, on his chest, and this one here it said to put on top of that sticker. I said no, I'm just going to stick it right there. So <laughs> that's where I put it. And he as well can just hold on to his little gun like so. All right, I'll slide this over, slide this over. Next we're going to do long haul. And here is his ornaments, armaments, uh, which is basically the waist section, as you can see. And that just tabs in on these two tabs on the side there into these spots right here. And that's, that's that. Uh, he does have a gun, which I stuck down in his um, bin. But as for his stickers, we ended up putting these two on and this one on. And then I'll get into the rest as we transform, which you do by pulling his bucket up, rotating it around. And these ones are also on a slide type hinge, but they just naturally slide over, which is nice. And then that goes like that. And then you pull his arms out and you rotate them down, twist his hands. because as you can see, they are in there like that. Twist hands out. Then we're going to take this whole piece and bring it down until it clips. Rotate the top round to the back. And then we're going to pull his face out. And then in this mode, he's got stickers on his arms right here and right here. And uh, if I, yeah, that's all I put on him. He didn't have much. But him as well. Here's his gun. Goes in his hand and he holds it. There's that. Stay. All right. Next we have Scrapper. Get all these over by the guys they belong with. Scrapper, he has the chest shield, which is just this pad, this peg, this peg, right here and here and down there. So, and this piece we actually put stickers on too. We ended up putting this one, this one, this one, and this one on. And that was it. On him. Got the sticker right there. And then the rest, what we'll do is take his legs, rotate them out, rotate that out, take his bucket. Let's pull his head up all the way first. Pull his head out until it clips. And then once you do that, these pieces right here will slide all the way in. So that way you can pull that out. And then his arms just rotate. And then in this mode, we put stickers on his knees, on his waist, on his cod piece. And we put this one up here on his chest and the emblem. And then as with all the others, there you get his hands are kind of weird. They have an open gap on the side, so his gun can actually tilt to the side, I guess. I, I don't know. There's that. There's that. And finally, we have Mix Master, who comes with an extra piece. He holds Devastator's large cannon. He has his own cannon handgun, pistole, and then to transform him you just, well you don't need to do, you don't need to do all that. Basically you just take the, the cab section and you rotate that around and uh, pull his arms out and <laughs> there he is. That's him. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Now this double that fell on the floor and I don't know where it went now. Hmm. Got it. 
This right here goes right into that, which there again, we have a little lever, no spring action, but if you uh, try to pull it out while holding this lever down, it does lock into place. So I seriously want to see if I can find some, some springs that might fit in there. Um, and then his hand cannon is right here, and that fits into his hand. And uh, stickers are here, 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 and I put that one there. Um, I was kind of, do I want to put it on this? But I ended up putting it there. So there we go. That is all six Cephricons put into the robot mode. Very fine looking set of G1 characters. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're basic. I mean, that's what they are. I mean, when we were kids, that's what we got. So, all right, as for Devastator, the, the newer one is more like an actual uh, combiner in today's sense because you don't actually have to take a whole bunch of things apart except for, like, say, the chest piece. Um, but that's just putting things together and then putting it on there, which is understandable. These guys, um, <laughs> for G1, they were definitely a parts former um, in the traditional sense. I mean, later on you got, like, what, Superion and uh, the Combaticons and you got the Seacons. Well, basically you got all those which were, like, city scramblers. Um, you could take them off and put them on anybody and it worked. These guys only work together. So, let's go ahead and get them all up into the Devastator mode. So basically, let's take the guns off right there. We're going to take his hands, arms, slide them in. At this point, we're going to rotate that around. We're going to pull it all the way down and stick it up like that. And there we go. We have a foot. We have a foot. All right. We're going to do the same thing with uh, Scrapper here. We're going to take that. We're going to twist his arms around. We're going to pull this up and we're going to, to push his head all the way down at which point this locks in so that can go no further. We're going to take his legs and we're going to rotate them back around and uh, just so you know, vehicle mode, leg mode. <laughs> so there we have, oh wait, maybe we do want his head out. Come on. And I know we want this like this. There. There. Okay. Now, now, now we got it. My bad. Completely forgot about the arms. Turn the arms around <laughs> so that he can use them as a heel. Uh, next step is we're going to take Mixmaster. Take that. We're going to leave this the way it is, except we're going to take his hands like that. And I believe we are going to flip that around and stick this down like so. Put his head down and uh, I believe that's it. I believe that's it. Let's just make sure. You know, I did forget to show you guys the instruction manual, which is absolutely massive. Um, so, I'll do that at the end. So there's him. There's Mixmaster. He's set up. Next, we're going to do um, Scrapper, Scavenger. Ugh, I'm so not getting his names right tonight. Um, basically, we just turn him back into his little vehicle here which here it articulates which is nice because the new one goes like this and that's it um, so but we do want this to come down and out because that is actually what's going to hold him in place and then we're going to take his arm and we're going to twist that onto that giant peg that's right there in the front and we're just going to get that on there and down 
And of course, this right here, we'll pull that out. And because he is on this side, we're gonna put the proper hand on him into that spot. And there we go. He's set to go. And we're gonna do, I'm gonna do hook, flip that. And this guy is gonna be all kinds of crazy. So we're gonna put his arms in, we're gonna rotate that down. We are going to rotate his legs around. And we're gonna open that all the way up so we can get these back into place. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna completely fold them in half, right? And then this tab right here is gonna tab in up there like so, and hold that all into place. And then this we're gonna take and we're gonna slide that out, okay, just like that. And then we're gonna take, where is it? His head, I'm gonna flip Devastator's head up and we're gonna slide this right onto the back here, like so. Okay, yeah, and he's got his big head cannon too which I did not know much about back in the day. Uh, and then we have Bone Crusher. So we're gonna do that. Take his arms, take his legs, put his feet back in, rotate that around. We're gonna get this down, put that up like so. Rotate his arms, rotate his arms, and bring them in and there is one tab right there that holds all that in there. And then we're gonna flip his face up. All right, so there's that. Now for him, what we're gonna end up doing is uh, basically taking this part here and this goes on to here. And we can take this piece out. I'm gonna put the hand on. So there's the hand and then this piece just pegs in on there, so. All right, there we go. We are all set to put him together. Um, let's see, first things first, we'll take him and we'll take the this section right here. Okay, oop, 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 oop. And I'm gonna flip that around and this basically, uh, come on, I'm trying to remember now. I just had this the other day. <laughs> That's not right. That's right. Okay, so this slides right into here. And then these two tabs right here and right here are gonna slide in right behind the bucket. And that's what's gonna lock it into place. Now, the first time I did this, it was very tight. So I was trying to be a little bit more careful with it. Let's see. Come on. Because it did not want to go. And it's, it's doing that to me again right now. It just did not want to go. And there we go. And it went in. Okay, so we got that pet tabbed in. So then basically what we do is we take uh, Mixmaster here and he just slides in there. That tab there goes into this and he just slides in. Like so, come on. And there's a slight, and just pressure. It's really all it is, it's just pressure. Um, so, all right, and then we're gonna take Scrapper and he is going to go in right like this. Now he has a small type of tab on his back. Now let me adjust this camera. Okay, so he has kind of a small tab right on the back of his legs there, which go into there. And then this part goes into here, right in this section. So in, and then, come on. Just tabs in like that. All right, and we're gonna take, uh, nope, we're gonna take, where are ya? Yeah, we're gonna take this piece. This piece goes, there's a tab up top here, and there's a slot right in the bottom there. So that just tabs in there, like so. 
And we have the whole lower half all taken care of. So then we're going to take hook and you have this big tab here, that hole there, tab, spots, places things fit, and there's that. Then we are going to take him and we got his tab there which slides right into this spot. Like so. And then we got Bone Crusher and his peg thing goes into this peg thing back here. Like that. And then you got the chest piece, which the chest piece, um, I believe it's only this peg here that holds it in place, which is that hole there. I believe, I believe, I believe. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, there's no other places it tabs in. So yeah, that's right. Finicky little man. <laughs> Come on. There. There. Stay on. All right, there we have Devastator, the G1 Devastator. Um, as you can see, he, he is quite nice. He is very reminiscent of the original, which of course he's supposed to be. Here's his cannon. That goes into the hand there or on both sides. And then of course you can rotate that like so. Um, now, out of all these things, I have seen him where you do use these. You get two of them uh, because you can actually take his hands out and swap them for each one of those. So he has drill hands. So that's, in case you're wondering, that's why you got two. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, there's not a whole lot you can say about G1 Devastator except it's G1 Devastator. Um, he's awesome, he's cool. Uh, not much in the way of articulation. His hands, arms move around. He's got some elbow just from the way things go on. So he can actually stick his arms up. This one rotates all the way around, unlike this one. Um, his face is definitely not like the red visor um, of today's version of him, which I can just show you real quick. You know, he's got the, the yellow eyes compared to the red visor. And just so you know, that's how much bigger, how much bigger the Titan, Titan class one is. So I'm not even going to get into that. As for size comparison on this guy, I think what I'll do is Oh, I have this thing, and yes, uh, from the last video, I picked up the pieces and put him back together. But <laughs> there's a uh, uh, star screen from um, Power of the Primes. So you can see that it's almost the same size. And I think what I'll do is I'll take this leader class, Optimus Prime, and show you that he is taller than the Devastator. So, there you go. Size comparison for you, just so you have an idea of how big he, the original G1 toy was. Um, actually, hold on. Okay, so I wanted to do this. Here's a uh, G1 Optimus Prime. And yes, I do not have his hands on him because I normally store him in vehicle mode. Um, so, G1 Optimus Prime. And then uh, the next figure that I'm actually doing a video on is a deluxe class Power of the Primes Wreckgar. I do believe this is a Walgreens exclusive. So we'll get on him next, hopefully sooner than him. But all right, thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe, click the bell, and uh, until next time. All right, so I did forget. I said I would show you the instruction manual 
for uh, Devastator, and here it is. Just as it, I'll tell you, no, it, it unfolds, and obviously it unfolds. So there we go. That's the front side with all the Constructicons transformations, and here is the back side on how to put him all together. So very large which honestly uh, it's a little bit better of an instruction manual than we have been getting with most of the transformers these days like that so and geez I cannot get rid of this I cannot get rid of the Starscream guy <laughs> so alright anyways um, Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, do check out uh, the 500 subscriber giveaway uh, video. And, and until next time.